guys, this is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts. Back for more, more education, more information on QuickBooks Online so you, you can stay up to date on what's going on with QuickBooks and how to solve the everyday problems. You're not going to find this anywhere, not going to find it at a college class, not going to find it in any course. Here is the hands-on learning. And that's why I'm here for you to make your life easier because I've been through that before. I've been a bookkeeper, accountant for a long time and I want to help you to make your life easier when using QuickBooks Online. Today we're going to talk about the update on the invoice template in QuickBooks Online. If you're still using the old template, you don't have to worry about that, but if you all of a sudden see the new template and you don't know how to customize, that's why I'm here, why I'm here for. I'm going to help you out. And of course, we're going to talk about um, going back to the old style. If you don't like the new one, that's fine. But we're going to talk about how to customize the new style, the new template. Okay, so without much further ado, here we go to QuickBooks Online. The first thing I'm going to do is to open up an invoice. So I'm going to click on the plus new invoice. And I have the new template here. See that? Yes, I have the new template. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is to click on manage. Okay, now, first thing you want to do is to add your logo, by the way. And the logo, you will do it right here from the invoice. So just add logo and just get it from your computer. Okay, the second thing is the customization right over here on the fields. You can click over here and you if you want to add ship to or invoice number. If you don't want any invoice number, you can turn that off. So just turn it off. If you want to have an invoice number, turn it on. The date of the invoice, you can turn it on and off. Service date in SKU if you need that, okay? There's more management uh, or field management over here. You can click over here and it's gonna take you to settings. By the way, this settings uh, is elsewhere as well okay so you can um, you can add your sales form uh, sales receipt or just customize here now if you want to click over here on the gear menu accounts and settings okay you're gonna go to sales and you're gonna scroll down and this is kind of interesting because this is where you manage the the messages it used to be different but this is the message you're gonna send it to your client. You can click on the pen right over here. Um, so it's gonna say dear and then the name of the customer. So it's kind of a, a smart, uh, smart contract. And you can put whatever you want over here. You can, you can change that. That your invoice is attached. Please so remit your payment at your your US convenience. Thank you for your business. We appreciate it very much. Or you can change that whatever way you want. So you can just delete this and write whatever you want. Okay, so very important. Uh, you can also select to email you a copy of the of the invoice so you can take a look. Okay. All right. So we're gonna get out of here and we're gonna go back to the invoice. So let's uh, da, 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 da. okay go back to that invoice. So you add your logo here, customization right over here, and there's the, the custom field that you can, you can add um, extra, extra fields that may not be on this invoice. So because this is how it looks like right here. Okay, it's just basic. Products and service. This is where you're gonna uh, select your products and service. Description, quantity, quantity, rate, and amount. And of course, you're gonna add your customer. And the terms you can you can select your term terms whatever you prefer. So do on receipt. You can also change the terms on that um, settings on the, the gear menu settings as well. So payment options you can turn on and and off whatever payment uh, you want to accept. Okay. If you want to accept multi multi currency, you can set it up. Now, keep in mind you don't want to set up multi currency unless you really need to because you can't turn it off. It's just on. It doesn't have an off button. Okay, and here is the design. You can have the uh, the regular standard design, or you can have the mo modern the, the modern 
design if you select the modern design you can actually change the color right now it's blue but you can select a different green or you can select gray whatever your preference I like green because it reminds me of money <laughs> Or make it red whatever your preference is as far as design goes you can go to town here okay the font here you can change it as well uh, right now it's the Helvetica new you can change it and kind of exper exper experiment on that and see what looks best see that source scan and see how the uh, uh, how the font just changes so you choose whatever you think is best so this is the the standard that would come up with and then finally your scheduling uh, you can make this a recurring invoice right from here you used to do that right from the invoice on the old old system and here you can too you just have to click on recurring invoice and then you can name the template you have to put the customer and how often you want this invoice to go the terms the products the description and the amount okay and you can set it up right from there so back for back to invoice okay yeah so so you can customize like i said the fields the payment options the design, the scheduling, you add the logo right over here, okay? And if you want to add the default settings, you can go right over here. And on the default settings, you can add price rules if you want, um, track, qual uh, track quantity and price if you, if you have in in inventory, you can turn on or off your SKU column okay late fees if you have one you can turn it on progress invoicing if you have not heard of progress invoicing that's when uh, you can have multiple invoices for one estimate and of course like I said the the messages the reminders online delivery and statements okay online delivery you can click on the on the little pencil here and you can show um, a short short summary of the email or show full details in the email okay pdf attached or not attached if you want just just the invoice itself okay so this is where you would customize the detail and right right over here so gear menu accounts and settings sales this is what is inside uh, and also the rules on the invoices you would manage right over here to customize the invoice itself plus new invoice and then uh, just click on manage right over here if you close manage that's how you open up the fields okay and add the logo here all right so this is it this is the new invoice setup let me go back here <laughs> all right so this is the new invoice template from quickbooks online um why don't you let me know what you think of this new template do you like it do you don't like it why you like it and why you don't like it let me know down below and also if you have any questions on how to customize uh invoice just write down below as well and if you'd like me to cover another subject in the future <laughs> please write down below we are coming up with all kinds of new subjects including integration that's our main thing right we talk about square integration we talk about shopify integration amazon integration and if you should integrate or not integrate and how do you do at the end of the month to adjust any differences so we're going to be talking about all kinds of subjects but if there is anything else that i have not touched please write down below we're going to make sure that we cover that for you <laughs> okay thank you so much for spending this time with me today i you you have no idea what it means to be to me <laughs> and also if you like this content 
please subscribe to our channel and share with the world. We want to help help as many people as possible. <laughs> All right, so share share with your friends, with your coworkers, um, with everybody, <laughs> with everybody, and also subscribe so you can stay up to date with with what's going on with QuickBooks Online. We're gonna come back with more more videos more information more whenever quickbooks make a change we're gonna cover that for you so you want to stay on top of that subscribe subscribe and you also help us a lot only a min minority of our viewers subscribe to our channel so we want to make sure that more of you can stay updated more of you will receive those updates so subscribe subscribe to our channel so you can help us come back for more, come back with more information, more education for free on QuickBooks Online. So you can manage your business, you can uh, stay up to date with your clients if you're a bookkeeper or an accountant. Yes, please subscribe so that we can help you out with that. We'll be back next week. And this is summertime. Enjoy the summer with your family. Make sure you take the time to spend with your loved one. That's what life is all about. Yes, work is important. We need to uh, we need to make sure our businesses are successful, but it is also important for you to take care of yourself and have fun, enjoy your family, enjoy your life, your summer, this beautiful time of the year. And I will be back next week with more information to help you so you can solve your, your problems, your challenges in a much more efficient way so you can take more time with your family. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. And until next time, keep on smiling.